Hello, I'm Rex Busterfield, and I'd like to welcome you to a short video about my Quilcom stamp. You could say that stamp stands for Saturated Tube Asymmetrical Monoprocessor, but I made that up, so uh, I'd better explain what it's actually supposed to do. You see, I had this idea that since uh, tube saturation is asymmetrical, and it creates even harmonics as such. What would happen is if you had asymmetrical saturation, but in two different directions. So one squashed the positive going wave, and the other one squashed the negative going wave. The next part of the idea was to send these two uh, asymmetrically saturated waves, one to the left channel and one to the right channel. So for a mono input, which would typically be a guitar, you can create a stereo saturated signal. Now, of course, I'm not a guitarist. I've got a guitar, but I'm not a guitarist, so I don't know if this will be of any use to anybody, but here it is anyway. Now, it's quite simple to operate. We have uh, a drive input, which drives the saturation circuits. This is the unusual one. This is a bias, so this uh, flattens one side more than the other, and as you turn that up, um, the stereo gets more wider and more extreme. This is a conventional stereo with control, so you can go from mono to extra wide stereo. And this is a blend between the dry incoming signal and the saturated process signal, and of course that's the volume. Now I've got a recording of uh, some dry guitar playing, so I'll play that and adjust the controls and you can hear the effect. So this is a conventional drive. Now the bias control will turn that into stereo. This is best heard on headphones. This is the stereo width control. This is the dry wet control. And that's it. <laughs> I should also mention that because this is saturation converted to stereo, the louder the signal, the more stereo you get. So if you pluck a note and let it decay, as it decays, the stereo will move around and decrease finally to pretty much a mono signal. So I've no idea if that's going to be of any use to anybody, but you can give it a whirl, maybe have a bit of fun with it and give me some feedback. And uh, until the next time, bye!